My 17-year-old cousin killed himself. It's a story we've all heard before. Gay kid. Publicly humiliated. Suicide. But this story is a little different. See, everyone knew my cousin was gay and no one made a big deal about it. His parents, my Aunt Kay and Uncle Jim, even helped him pick out a tux when he went to prom with a guy. He adored his sister Molly. They were both in high school and she was a grade younger. He would help her with math homework and her dance team moves. She liked to use his computer. He kept it locked with a password, but it was easy. His birthday. She would find old papers he had written, change a few lines and turn them in. They never had the same teacher, school policy, so it worked out. She would look through his pictures for the good ones of them and post them to her Facebook or Instagram. Molly and I were out shopping one day when he called her, furious. He didn't like one of the pictures she had tagged him in on Facebook. She promised to take it off her page. Right when they hung up, she went on her phone and removed the picture. Laughing, she told me she didn't see what the big deal was. She said the picture he was making a big deal about was a picture my aunt had taken of the two of them having a sing-off in the living room. They were wearing boas, singing into fake microphones, and acting silly. The picture started showing up all over the place about a month later. It was usually changed a little bit. Sometimes it would have my cousin holding something obscene. Sometimes there would be word bubbles around him. One time, Molly was even removed from the picture and replaced with a group of half-naked guys. Molly felt awful. The picture had only been on her account for a day or two, and she really thought it was a good picture of them. The college rejection letters came next. My cousin was rejected from every college he applied to. He had a 4.3 GPA. The letters contained phrases like lack of character and not socially responsible. Molly was the one who found him in the closed garage with the car running, dead. Events like those in this story occur all the time to all different types of people and for all different reasons. Oh, and by the way, this story is completely made up, like much of the information on the internet.